Hello, I'm our Facts of Mars. In Savannah, Georgia, there's a store called Civvies. It's a downtown store. And what they've done is they've implemented a policy where whites have to pay a $20 refundable deposit to book an appointment. It's right here. It doesn't say under what circumstances that can be refunded. But if you're a person of color or American Indian, you don't have to pay anything. Now that's just lovely. Uh, that's called discrimination. I'm quite certain there are laws against this. I don't have to look it up. Civis on Bolton Street posted a new policy a few days ago after opening by appointment only last Thursday. A few days ago, the store posted a charging $20 refundable appointment fee for customers wanting to reserve a spot to come to the shop, store and shop. The store also said they are waiving the fee for black and American Indian customers, as well as other people of color, and explained why. So we should explain that with a mostly white staff, they don't feel comfortable upholding a digital and financial barrier which could keep black American Indians or other people of color from shopping at their store. Hogwash. Utter hogwash, as far as I'm concerned. This is discrimination. Also in that post, the store said if a customer is white and unable to come up with a $20 for an appointment to select they don't agree on booking form so the booking manager can reach out and come up with other options. Unbelievable. Civvies went on to say they would not accept appointments with white customers simply refusing because of the ethics of the policy. Well, it's completely unethical. I can't believe this is happening. Well, I believe it because this is the latest trend, but it's illegal. Store managers posting again Sunday further defending an appointment policy, saying black, American Indians, and other people of color are most likely affected by poverty and the Wuhan flu, and that a refundable deposit would be an additional barrier to their shop. I don't want to hear this crap. This is discrimination. Plain and simple. Uh, owners posted a statement to Facebook Monday saying, in part, that it was not their intention to act in any way that might be perceived as discriminatory, and for that, apologized. I'm well, putting into the po policy, and don't give me this crap that you uh, have learned anything from this. If you're going to make an apology, get rid of the policy and fire whoever came up with the idea. And here's that statement. Um, Broughton posts Statement from the owners, it was not our intention to act in any way that might be perceived as discriminatory, and for that, we apologize. That's a lie. Posts were deleted on the request of Civvy's ownership, not management. Management will receive comments on this post in, in our DMs. So there you have it. Gross and blatant. Right out in the open discrimination, there's no question about it. It's against whites. I guess we don't have any rights at all. So, I don't want to tell you on this. This is disgusting. It's abhorrent. And, you know, if it were up to me, they would be facing some kind of penalty. But the best thing you can do, if you're in Savannah, Georgia, and you're white, don't shop there. They're discriminating against you anyway. So pass them on by. They're a bunch of losers. They're dirtbags. They uh, hate your white skin. That's the way it is. So, like I said, best thing to do is say, hey, screw you people. I'll go to one of your competitors. That's the best thing for you. Uh, 
And you can also bitch to your um, elected representatives, hey, look at what they're doing. And so this doesn't say uh, whether they refund that $20 at the end of the appointment or not. It just says it's refundable, whatever that means. And probably if the person changes their mind, they'll give it back to you. Well, they probably keep it once an appointment is uh, done with. That would be my guess. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's my rant for today. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep watch for a new series on the Artifacts of Mars channel. It's in the work. Works. It's called Frightville. It'll be in my classic style, so if you're familiar with my style of drama, it'll be in that vein. And there will be horror scenes. Make no mistake about that. Anyway, that's all for today. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.